Hello everyone and thank you for your time today. I know we blocked off a full 30 minutes for this presentation, but this should only be about 10 minutes with questions to run through. Now I understand guys how hectic your schedule is right now and at the end of the school year quickly approaching, I want to give you a full 20 minutes of free time to catch up on any loose ends that you may have and make myself available uh, for any follow-up conversations that spur from this meeting today. I'm going to level with all of you guys right now. I am genuinely excited to share with you this new initiative that I know will quickly blend into the lion DNA that makes the school so dynamic. We always preach for positivity and putting kids first, and that's exactly why I brought everyone here today. It's obviously what's best for our kids. Now today we are talking diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, but more importantly how we here at New Hope need to improve in all facets to offer our students a 100% inclusive environment. Now I want to make it clear. You guys are not doing a bad job at creating a diverse environment. In fact, some of you are excelling. But this initiative will help guide our future decisions and push us to create the perfect learning environment for every single one of our students. As you may have heard, starting at the beginning of the year, we took a deep dive into all facets of DEI, and we started with putting together a committee blended from teachers, admin, and staff. We quickly worked hard to find our mission statement, and we came up with this. The New Hope Sulbury School District Equity Committee is comprised of a cross-section of stakeholders who strive to create an equitable learning and working environment from all members of the district community. We know that bias and discrimination around race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, disability, and other identity-related factors adversely affect student achievement and mental health and impede our district success. We're going to partner with families, students, and the New Hope Silvery community to identify and remove institutional barriers and to promote a safe space for all to thrive socially, academically, and emotionally. Now, with this as our committee compass, we embarked on trying to find a calculated route to successfully navigate and identify the following goals to implement as kind of overarching themes to say that these are our foundations. We're going to raise students who are culturally competent and prepared for the world beyond New Hope Solbury. We're going to create an inclusive, diverse, and welcoming workplace and positive school culture that empowers students in a safe classroom environment. We're going to begin professional development in equity practices and bias reduction. We'll also be maintaining an updated, unbiased K-12 curriculum that reflects and upholds these ideals I just talked about. Now with those in place, we're able to shift our focus to a more direct lens, and next year we'll also refer to this as the Big Four, as we're calling it. Most immediate changes that you guys are going to see. <clears throat> so as we break these down, we're going to be welcoming a new and diverse literature into our libraries to better represent all of our students. Everyone should be able to pick up a book that is special to them. Uh, we are excited and intrigued to include students in this ongoing conversation. Uh, we're going to do a full audit completed by you, the teachers, to include and then implement at least one multicultural lesson into your 2022 curriculum. Finally, we want to promote diversity and inclusion at all aspects. This district is going to have themes of diversity, so we're going to include our students and staff in meaningful learning uh, experiences around a celebration of diversity. So our work will only be successful when the district has the policies, protocols, and procedures in place to affirm those voices and to meet the needs of all students and employees. And that's what we're really looking for for the finish line. Guys, I am so confident that we have never been in a more perfect position to make a dynamic and important initiative a success. You know, we talk about living our mottos, and this one will be putting us to the test. But as a group, you guys never do anything half-hearted. And I know this one will be one of the many continued successes. So I'm going to stick around and answer any questions, concerns, ideas that you want to add to this initiative. I want you to have a voice. Uh, so I'm proud of all of you. Let's make this dynamic change for all of our littlest lions. But let's make this a success, guys. I know it will be.